Okay, so first off, I'm feeling a bit under the weather at the moment. Don't know if you can hear it on my vo in my voice, but I'm gonna I I'll, I'm gonna try to keep you know sneezing and coughing at a minimum. Um, but uh, yeah, I um, I just got back from uh, watching the Super Mario movie. I'm glad I went as early as I did. You know, a couple of days after the after the uh, premiere because uh, now I can now I don't have to stay uh, steer clear of spoilers. But um, well. Out of the back, I liked it. Um, I went with my brother, he liked it too. Um, I personally didn't expect anything big, you, you know. Um, I, I've stated in, in previous uh, reviews that that um, I'm not gonna say, you, you know, for a kid's movie it's, it's good or anything like that, because I... Kids are, kids are intelligent enough that, uh, that, that they understand uh, deep stuff. So, um, you know, if a movie is good, it's just good. No need to, yeah, to to split in the middle or whatever. So I, I, I didn't go in and, and, and be like, uh, uh, I hope that it's at least, at least good for a kid's movie. I, I went in with the expectations that it was a good Mario movie. That, um, you know, because I'd seen all the trailers with the Rainbow Road and Donkey Kong and stuff like that. So I went in hoping that... Uh, that uh, the movie would uh, be, uh, you know, like watching a one and a half hour long cutscene, um, to put it in simple terms, and uh, that it would be full of Easter eggs and um, and uh, references. Like um, after the movie, my uh, my brother asked, uh, in, th "This is this is no spoiler, but in one of the very first scenes, uh, we see the brothers at this bar where." Um, one of their um, rivals, I guess, he uh, he mocks them, and um, my brother thought that he was a, an, an original character, uh, whereas I, I I looked to him and, and said, did you notice did you notice what was written on his on his cap, um, because on his cap uh, it said Wrecking Crew, and I know that that's a game, so um, nothing was uh, you know just thrown in there as uh, you know whatever there were, there were a lot of easter eggs and they feel they, they felt um like they belonged there you know unlike welcome to raccoon city where they thought that they could just throw easter eggs up uh, up the warsu and have a shitty plot and then uh, because of fan service the movie would uh, would do well this was a good movie with with good voice acting although i mean Let's get the elephant out of the, out of the room. Many have criticized uh, Chris Pratt as uh, as Mario. M many even wanted uh, Mi not Miyamoto <laughs> uh, wanted uh, Charles Martinet uh, to voice him, and and some people then argue that uh, oh, but uh, having having Mario go wahoo throughout the whole movie would maybe be ear grating. But then I'm like, but he's an actor. He can play. He he can make other voices. You know, like. Uh, I, I haven't checked his entire role list, but he he was also the homunculi in uh, in the PS2 game uh, uh, Shadow of Memories. Um, so, but but whatever. Um, I I was indifferent to to the cast. They were just there, except for for Anya, who uh, or An Anya Anya, uh, the woman who played uh, played Peach, because uh, she also played uh, the lead role in. Uh, in the parody Red Shoes, don't know if you've uh, if you've seen that one. You know the um, the parody on uh, Snow White, where you have this uh, this choppy princess, where she uh, when she puts the shoe on, she becomes uh, she becomes skinny, and she tries to enlist these seven dwarfs to help her find her her father, and uh, they are also under a curse where when um, when anyone looks at them, including themselves they turn into little green, well, dwarfs. And when no one is looking at them, they become their normal, handsome selves. Um, I, I really liked her in that role, so I liked her here as well. Um, but anyway, so I I didn't mind the, the voice cast. Uh, they were fine. Uh, the graphics, I was about to say, uh, were good. The animation, I liked all the colors, the various locations that they that they traveled to like i i, I was like many others i i was uh, i was worried that um 
because, you know, Illumination Studios, Minions, I can't stand Minions. To me, it is, you know, I, and I say this as someone who has only seen clips of those movies. No, actually, I think I, I, think I, I saw, uh, I saw um, Despicable Me 2, but that was only because uh, I gifted it to, um, to um, my, um, my grand cousin. Um, and then uh, I was kind of forced to, to sit down with the, with the kid, with the kids at the birthday and, uh, and watch it with them or, you know, not forced, but what else was I going to do? Sit, sit at the grown up table and, and uh, talk about grown up, grown up stuff. Have you, have you seen, have you seen this? Me? Grown up? <laughs> um, so, um, but, but I know in, I have seen enough about minions to know that I hate them. To me, I, I, and I mean, I know sometimes cheap slapstick and potty humor is all you need. Like, it it kind of compares, in my opinion, to when uh, when uh, adults watch um, watch uh, James Bond or Expendables or, or stuff like that. Something that doesn't necessarily need to have a plot, but just. Uh, balls to the wall action and uh, just men with big guns who uh, who who are like no substance whatsoever. You just want to be entertained for one and a half hours. Those movies have a right to exist as well. And while I again am of the opinion that kids deserve better than uh, something like Minions, sometimes the potty. Uh, I keep saying potty humor. The humor of Minions. In s sometimes does have the right to exist, but I was still, I was still um, um, worried. But I didn't have to be. I mean, yes, there was humor, and it's not like I'm not opposed to humor. I don't want it to be serious all the time. I just want a balance, and I don't want every single... That's one of the reasons I sadly uh, can't uh, find it in myself to like something like uh, Fairy Tale, uh, the anime, because I feel in that anime that uh, that most serious moments are followed up by a, a, an atmosphere-breaking joke, like, um, um, promise never to do that again. Now let's go out for tea. Like stop that! You're breaking my you're breaking my my mood here. I don't know what to feel, which which again does that. Uh, whenever uh, whenever there is a um, a serious moment, I'm I'm not enjoying it because I'm sitting there thinking, when are when are they gonna break it? When are they when are they gonna break into a joke? So I focus more on trying to be prepared for the upcoming joke, than living in the now and enjoying the scene as it is going but again didn't have to worry here because while you know story of course the, of course the movie ha has a story despite you know um miyamoto being like story is unnecessary all we need is uh plumber go save princess which and i i know that some people um we're kind of conflicted on how Pe Peach is, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, in independent character, but what I what I mind is what should I call it? Female characters who have a stick up their ass, so so to speak, like they are, um, you know, they have enough in in themselves and no emotion whatsoever, and and you know. Most of the times, I, I I don't like that. You you can be a cool independent female, but you have to show some humor and some some emotion and some soft sides uh, as well. And and Peach perfectly nailed that in um, in this movie. So didn't have a problem with that either. But case in point, the story is of course about uh, if you've seen the trailer, Bowser um, steals the power stuff from uh, this uh, penguin kingdom and wants to take over the world. And uh, for some reason, takes a long time to reach uh, Peach's, uh, Peach's castle. Um, and um, Mario and Luigi, who live, in, who live in Brooklyn, they, um, 
they uh, some some they somehow find themselves in in uh, in this magic kingdom and and um end up into entangled in in this whole mess and so Mario goes out with Peach after some training to um to stop him and uh, they go through uh, Donkey Kong Land which you've also seen in the uh, in the trailer you know the scene where Donkey Kong beats the shit out of out of Mario and I I won't uh, spoil anything further than what the trailer has uh, has shown but that was one of my favorite uh, scenes along with uh, with Rainbow Road uh, the stuff that uh, that happens there again won't delve any any deeper into it um but uh, you know eventually big showdown with um big showdown with Bowser and uh, I mean it's a Mario movie they win of course they do happily happily ever ever after hunky dory and just in case and this I guess is a bit of a spoiler alert but just in case you are one of those uh, people I don't understand who don't stay for the credits um there is um a mid credit scene where you see um, and I think it's in a basement of some sort you see a Yoshi egg cracking and then uh, you know you see the the egg and then the screen goes black and then you hear Yoshi uh, my, you can hear my voice isn't so good uh, that was <laughs> that was a terrible Yoshi impression um but um so yeah I went in for a, a standard fun colorful high octane action mario movie full of easter eggs and um and uh, fun and uh, uh creative um inputs from uh, from the series like not not just uh, oh i remember that from the game i remember that from the game but how they used those elements again not like welcome to raccoon city where they just uh, where, where they were just like oh do you remember do you remember that from the game see we included that from the game do you remember that from the game yes i do but mm, in this movie i i felt at least i did i yes the entire movie is uh, is uh, a callback to the to the games but callbacks that uh, callbacks Easter eggs and references that make that made sense in the in in the context of the story and in the context of 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 the universe. So not uh, again. It's not gonna win any Oscars in any time soon. It's not gonna win. I mean, I can't say for sure, but I don't think it's gonna win anything. But it's a it's a fine one and a half hour. I'm not gonna say kids movie. Um, it's a fun one and a half hour animated feature that um, anyone, adults or, I was about to say kids as if I actually have some of my own, although you wouldn't know, maybe I'm a weekend dad, you don't know, <laughs> nah, but um, anyone, kids, adults, whatever, can totally, can totally get behind and, and enjoy this, if you still have your if you are a child or have your inner child still intact, um, this is this is totally totally worth a a watch. It's not gonna blow you away with uh, insane plot twists or anything like that, but at least for me personally, it is gonna take uh, elements again, take elements from the games and maybe use them in creative ways that you perhaps that you perhaps didn't see coming. Um, so they so at least to me maybe I'm just uh, slow, but to me at least it did uh, catch me off guard a couple of times where where I was like, holy crap, that was actually very creative. Then again, I'm the type who uh, you know in uh, Ragged Ralph, I I didn't see the uh, the plot twist at the end coming at all. Um, so um, yeah, that's uh, those are my those are my two cents. That's my opinion. I'm glad I. I'm glad I went to see it. I'm glad it's a movie that uh, that exists. I don't know why it uh, it took Nintendo this many years after the uh, ninety three movie to uh, finally make another uh, theatrical the feature, but uh, here we are. I wouldn't mind a sequel, and yeah, that's it. I liked it. Thumbs up. Eight out of ten. I don't. I mean. 
do I usually give scores um, on these videos? It's been so long since the last one, I, I honestly don't remember. So take take that with a grain of, a grain of, of salt. Now, the, um, what, what should I call it? I, I said it, it sticks eight out of, eight out of 10. So um, have you watched it? Did you like it? Do you agree with the critics? Because I can see on uh, on Rotten Tomatoes that it's really split down the middle, maybe because some people expected more i don't know but uh, it's um it's creative and colorful entertainment for for one and a, for one and a half hour um and that's and that i think is uh, really all the movie in the first place set out to uh, to accomplish so so yeah drop a drop a comment if you if you want to if you want to share and if you if you haven't uh, watched it already, I urge you to do so. See ya.